Okay, this is the thing. I had, when I first got out of nursing school, I got these clogs. They were patent leather black. They are the most comfortable shoes. What happened is they were beat up and run down. Those are Peggy's old shoes. My director, she would look at me and then look down at my shoes and said, okay, this doesn't match. So I finally got new shoes and these are them. And these are my old shoes. <laughs> <laughs> they're old shoes. Yes. Full of God knows what. I did not want to get rid of them, but I had to because I was being joked. And my doctor also said that, okay, I have to get new shoes. So that's why I got new clocks. It doesn't give it the full detail of what it used to look like. But she definitely saw a lot of deliveries in those shoes. <laughs> I just want to enjoy my pregnancy. I watched my wife journey through pregnancy. I love her for it. I'm in awe of all women for it. So I found a group of moms who was willing to take us through their 40 weeks journeys and made this film. When we started on this journey of, I think, I think we might want to have a baby. Even when we thought we were ready and it happened, you're not sort of ready. Stuff came out of my boobs. It's like, oh, hey, that happened. If I'm sneezing or coughing, it's just not going to end well. And of course, she tells me about it. <laughs> She'll be like, I just peed a little bit. <laughs> I'm in week eight. I'm 12. I am 15 weeks. 27. Week 32. 29 weeks yesterday. Do I look bigger? Because I feel bigger. <laughs> oh, my God. We're there through every week in Milestone. Through triumph and trials, our moms led us into their lives. So it's kind of amazing to see it go from a little seahorse to a little baby. I went in for the genetic um, counseling. Very exciting because now it's the open and can talk to people about it face. <laughs> the 20 week or the complete or the big sonogram, that is a very, very important sonogram. Oh, it looks my like God. it's a girl. Oh my God. <laughs> Even though doctors tell you not to worry about things, there's no way that you're not going to worry about it. Try not to get upset, but people don't get it. As if going through this whole entire process, isn't already emotional and nerve-wracking. Um, I have another spin on it. I don't know what to do anymore. But I feel like I failed, which is hard. It's pregnancy, and you go through it, and you go through it your own way. What I have with my mom, I'm gonna have that with another being soon. I hope to, I hope that she loves me as much as I love my mom. I loved him since the first sonogram I saw him. You know, that's that's instant love. That's love that you can't describe. You do what you need to do. You go. You spend as much time as you want to in my body as long as you come out healthy and happy. Yeah, I love this little kid. I can't imagine loving him more, but they say when you see them, then it grows even more. Sorry, these might get in the way. What Can you that? put? Uh, it's a vocera. This it's is a, what we used to communicate. communicate. It's like Star Trek. Yes, We're a communicator. We're yep. a very, we grew from our previous uh, hospital, so this helps us communicate and better get a hold of each other. We had a midwife, and she was amazing. Oh Just my god, so loving and so like she grabbed. I couldn't have birthed that baby without her. Literally, like I and I always feel bad saying it, but I've said it now enough times. But like I could have done it without anybody else who was in that room except her. Every day is unique. That's the amazing thing of labor is there are no two labors that are identical even with the same women. Every time you expect something, something else is gonna happen. Come in, I could be like, Ugh. and once I start talking to my patients, I am loving it. And that's the thing is I walk in every day and go, okay, what's happening today? <laughs> And it wasn't until it was all over and um, I was handing the baby to the father that he said it was his birthday today, as well as the baby's birthday. I said, you know that you're not going to be celebrating your birthday ever again. <laughs> and someone else said, yeah, you're going to be wearing a tiara <laughs> for every next birthday. It's indescribable. I get excited about seeing their baby and I only know them for 12 hours. The people that you really need 
on your team and that you really need to develop a relationship with and be appreciative of are the nurses. I would see Rosa and she would just put me at ease. So by the time I saw Dr. Moritz, I was already breathing. I told her, I said, I don't really want to leave you. <laughs> you know, yeah. I want to stay here with you until the end of my shift. What's important is for us to create trust in the early stages of labor because we need to draw on that trust that we've established when she is pushing because that can make the difference of whether or not you have a good outcome or a bad outcome. Those last few moments of like desperation where you're like, just get this out of me. She just kept telling me like how awesome I was and like that I was a goddess. She had not made it into the hospital yet. And so they were saying, you know, we need help out here. So I'm out the front door and, you know, on the ground in the front seat of the car trying to help this woman. And we helped her. She delivered a beautiful baby boy. As excited as daddy is, he's freaked out <laughs> the entire process. The thing I love about it is I get to be part of the beginning of families. And there's so much growth that comes from going from a couple to a family. This is a moment in their life that they will absolutely never forget. And they may forget our names, but they will never forget the way we made them feel. Hi, beautiful. Thank you. Oh, you're beautiful. so beautiful. She is beautiful. Okay. Hi, Rosa. Hi, On one level, there's the art. You know, you're letting your instincts be your guide and you're doing what you feel is right, but then you're also observing, saying, okay, if I touch this way, that's gonna hopefully bring her into where she needs to be so she can do what she needs to do. So that touch is, that touch is instinctual, but it's also science in a way. It just makes all the difference in the world. It says a lot about how much they train, that they have to be there emotionally for the mom too. Training first as a doula and then becoming a nurse is like, oh, I don't know about, I'm not sure, but like all of my preconceptions have been blown out the window and I am so wholeheartedly an A1 nurse. You're part of A1. A1. I'm part of A1, which is the Association of Women's Health Obstetric, which is us and neonatal nurses. It provides a resource um, for what's going on the latest and the greatest in the industry and it helps us do our jobs more efficiently. What's really critical for nurses who are working in perinatal settings or in birth settings or in newborn settings um, is to ensure that they keep up with their ongoing continuing education and that's where I think A1 is a really valuable resource because A1 really provides the evidence-based tools that nurses need to achieve the high-tech and critical care thinking skills that are so important. It is for education, for leadership, for collegiality. So we only intervene when truly the benefit is worth the risk. And in doing that, obviously, we are pushing Go the Full 40. Go the Full, oh, go the full 40, yep. Go the Full 40 is an education program that encourages mothers to allow the baby to determine their own birthday. And it's a wonderful campaign to help women understand the importance of waiting for spontaneous labor. This is my obstetrician who also believes in the 40. Right? Absolutely. And what we found over the last few years is that babies really can use that little extra time in the oven. What we're considering term now is between about a week before your due date up to a week afterwards. We're trying to get people to go as close to 40 weeks as possible. There is a lot of information that has really come out this year in 2014 about the fact that women need to think before just signing up or having a C-section. It's really important for them to be current on the literature that um, surrounds the whole birthing process, both from a technical perspective and a scientific perspective, and from the, the science around labor and birth support. There was a time when people, you'd ask somebody who you worked with, who you would say, you know, I just read this in A1, and they would turn to you and say, what's that? You don't really have it anymore. People know who A1 is. It was A1 taking the lead a couple of years ago before it was popular to be able to do that. And we do, we're doing that in a lot of scenarios. Can she have an epi? She may have an epidural. All right, doctor. Whenever she would like. Okay. <laughs> it's changed over the years as monitoring and technology and standards have changed. And uh, I think even for older nurses, it kind of brings some things to them that they haven't experienced before. 
I think AWAN has come into its own and really surfaced nationally in the last few years and really has opportunities to continue to do so. Like AWAN is just right there and they're pushing everything forward. One of the things we'll be working on this summer is to expand it even more to our consumers and get the information out where it needs to be in the hands of women. Oh, I see AWAN making big differences in nursing. With all of the evidence-based practice that's out there, we're only getting better with what we're doing. And in part of that, we've decided to align with 40 Weeks, a new documentary that's coming out that really follows the mom every week through that 40-week journey. I am uh, one of the founders of Big Belly and 40 Weeks. For me, the importance of nurses and nurse midwives through the process of pregnancy and birth is huge. We believe that the principles behind 40 Weeks and what's being produced within it align with our mission and our values at A1. So we're very excited to have something like this come out. At the birth, right after a contraction, one of them put her hand on my shoulder and said, you're doing great. You're doing really great. Yeah, it's that touch and that presence that truly makes a difference. In that moment, my belief in myself was waning. And to have her say that to me, I, I just breathed and thought, I can do this. And it gave me more resolve. And I ended up going to the end without an epidural. Patients are really happy that I'm caring for them, but they're more happy if I care about them. And it turned out Gaia's cord was wrapped twice around her neck, and the doctor made me push her out in one push, which I was told afterwards, had I had the epidural, I may not have been able to get that done. That touch was one of the things that brought me through natural childbirth that could very well have saved my child. And that's a unique difference that I see that nurses actually can provide. There's very, very strong evidence that shows that whether it's uh, you know, a registered nurse or a doula or a family member, that the presence of a supportive person with the mom during labor can make such a difference in the birth outcome. It's a team effort. Even though you may be in pushing with somebody, another person will come in for those last couple minutes to help, and just hearing that other voice is enough to help her get through the process. Okay. Um, she's a service patient. She was here earlier. Oh, she was exactly. Oh, it's a great time to be a nurse. It's a wonderful time to be in healthcare. There's so many changes happening. It's a miracle every day, and I really look at it as a privilege to be invited into the most personal part of somebody's life. And you think, wow, you know, it wasn't changing a dressing, it wasn't catching the baby as, as the baby was born, or any of those types of things. But instead, it was the time spent listening. The most wonderful person oh, behind you. you. Yeah, yeah she's, she's just she's, she's experienced. She this. was she was pushing me through she's at some point. I was so tired. She's like, no, you're almost there. Get go. Come on, five more. I'm tired. I'm like so freaking exhausted. I'm like I don't know. I just like can't take another step. But I'm pushing her her a wheelchair back to return it downstairs. And I'm just like, oh God, thank you that I'm doing this job. Thank you that I'm not the teacher that, that couldn't handle it. Thank you that I'm not the corporate lawyer that I knew I never wanted to be. Thank you that life led me here. It's a profession that you'll never regret. And you have to love that because in order to leave your family, um, you have to love what you do or it's not worth it. If it wasn't, we all wouldn't be here. So I think we make a big difference. We rock. <laughs> yeah. I enjoy my job. I like when I drive home from work, I feel like I accomplished something today and I did something great. And after 28 years, to see a delivery still takes chills and brings you to tears. Yeah. How many births would you say that have happened on your watch? Oh gosh, tens of thousands. I would expect I might have left with around 2,000 births. I wish I started keeping track when I, when I first started. No, thousands, I'm sure. In our careers or? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> too long. That's That's too long. Too long. Oh my goodness. Um, at least under my watch, about 2,000. Probably the most important thing I've learned is that to trust a woman's body, the power and wisdom of a woman's body. I really and truly believe we stand firm through all of it and we continue to deliver our children. Bringing that next generation in and several more to come. <laughs> I personally, and I know 
how our whole team wants to thank you for the work that you do. And I hope that as you learn more about 40 Weeks the Movie, you'll feel as excited as we are to put this information out to pregnant women and women looking to be pregnant. We want them to have the support and information that they need for the healthiest possible pregnancy and the healthiest possible outcome for our new babies. Be our 40 Weeks Champion nationwide.